So, welcome. Hope everybody's doing great today. The new track I'm working on is going to be a droney piece, an after image of time. Uh, what you're hearing is from it's so native instruments, and I'll talk about this to some extent. It's, it's a huge, huge ecosystem, right? Of their own stuff. Uh, their own apps, stuff, all that. Can't type today. Massive X. So I purchased this, and this is called Negative Matter. Is, so what you guys are hearing though is called the space drone from Reactor, uh, and it will do this uh, infinitely. Like there's the drone. It will do this continuously till I shut it off, which is cool because it's a really really nice drone called Polar Wind. Um, it's badass. I love this. It's a badass plugin. It's a free plugin for Native Instruments, but uh, nevertheless, it's well worth having invested in some of this to find out what it is. Uh, Space Drum is the app or the synth, so to speak, 
and it is freaking phenomenal. Like, that is so spacey out. Uh, it's just, like I can just put it on and play it forever, right? on reactor. Hey Code, what's up man? How are you? Just uh, demoing a little software here. Hope everything's well in your world. A little sump sump I'm working on over here. Now uh, I know I was also talking about, yeah, man, it's been a, it's been a hell of a day too for uh, me. Work has been, I'm going to shut this drone off for just a moment. Uh, just bear with me, buddy. Okay. Because that'll drone on and on. Like, I could listen to it forever. But I'd prefer that you guys get to hear this massive accent that is just Freaking amazingly awesome. Let me pitch that back up. This is from Massive X. Stupid synthesizer. And it's all software driven. And it's minimal impact on the system too. So 80s right there, that pitch blend. Then pitch it down totally an octave. That's nasty, dude. That is like super freaking nasty. Nasty there on Massive X. That's 12 dB down. Could sit there and mess with that all night. Like I'd probably get my ass in trouble by the apartment complex because there is some super sick resonance in this. Um, she's an eight boy. This is a polyphony. Let's look at some of the. Uh... Just totally badass, man. Like, uh, probably 
one of the better sounds that I've heard coming out of a software synth. Um, I boosted the server last night code, so I hope that helps us quite a bit. Um, should. I don't know what it does, but I was like, oh, hell with it. I'll go Nitro. So I got to get some emote, emotes and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, no problem, dude. Like, I went ahead and got a year of the Nitro for Discord. I figured at some point it's going to come in handy. Um, so we'll go, you know, go from there and see what happens. Um, yeah, man. So this is a new track I'm kind of kind of toying around with an after image of time. I think that's like a real neat sounding title for a song and how it's going to turn out. I wish you could hear uh, what this sounds like on a set of studio monitors. Uh, just like three feet from my head, real near field, and then the the, uh, the resonance and the sub harmonics that come through it. Yeah, it is because this is a this is a hella cool plugin. Uh, and it'll also work, the cool thing is, it'll also work inside of the native instrument, the machine MK3. So, like, it works inside of Cakewalk as a VST. And so it's really the same thing inside of here. It acts as a plug-in, you know? Um, just some cool stuff, man. Really cool to... Uh, be fortunate enough to get to play with this kind of gear and uh, tube saturation like crazy on that uh on that portion of it which is cool but i wouldn't have expected it to be you know that freaking much reactor there's a badass drone I can put this back to uh, its spot. And of course, the good old virus have it hooked up. have a little reverb on my tracks uh, from Breverb so I always there's always an airiness a clean airiness that I do um, it's just part of my plug-in chain you know on here um, what kind of projects you got going on code I need to Set six, sweet. Been going through all the 
almost thought about putting like a really nice piano in this. Uh, Ice on piano pad. It's what really turned me on to this thing. Nice, nice light piano. What's the weather like up there, Coke? Because it is heated up in Texas. Like, it was 97 degrees today. Which is typical summer weather for us. Uh, well, we're about to get six inches of rain this week, but uh, the heat is here. Everybody's like, oh, I don't like 50 degree weather in, in May. Well, okay, you don't have to worry about it now because it's, it's going to be 105 soon. We've lit our asses up finally. It's hot in Texas now. Wow. We're supposed to get like six inches of rain. It's a nice melody. like Joey Beltram. <laughs> fits in there in a weird way because some real contrast to the drone with sparse piano through it like that I don't know uh, that'll be refreshing six inches of rain hopefully doesn't flood my car because it is notorious our parking lot where I live is notory. You like, so you like the piano? I don't dislike it either. I think it's actually really good. Need to up the input though. That is extremely quiet for some reason on uh, this input for the wave state. Maybe that's the reason why. Probably so. Oh, there it is.
okay. Got that issue worked. All right, so then I'll probably go with that. Oh, then see how that, uh, see how that plans out. So that's kind of cool actually uh, kind of fits in there well strangely enough um, but this epic will have many 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 layers so that is indeed beautiful piano Beautiful pianos. There we go. I like that. Thank you, Code. <laughs> Oh yeah, this can come together nicely. Uh, be a fun, fun, fun. Tired of being afraid. 2021, it's what everything falls under, right? After image of time, looking back. I've got some trigger keys set up over here on the keyboard. Uh, my K100 by Corsair. So that's kind of cool. Don't you love that drone, though? I mean, like how it's just continuous, man. Like that thing, I could just put that on and be all night sleeping to that. That's the cool thing about it. It's melodic, but, no but noisy at the same time, you know? It is new. It is part of the. It's just something I've never like actually piddled with. But I saw it mentioned, and I was like, "Okay, where is that?" And then when I messed with it, uh, it was just like, "Bam!" Like I love droney stuff anyway, and that's a badass draw. Uh, and it's a freebie, so the Massive X wasn't free, and most of the stuff wasn't free, but. The uh,
It's a, uh, it's called Reactor. Reactor, and it's a space drone inside their software, like a synth inside the software package. So we'll see how all that, how it all pieces together with that. I hope it's cool. I hope it works out great. Because it's kind of atonal, even though they're like, I even, I mean, I, there's data for it, you know? But. I don't know so much that it interacts to with it. Um, so much as it does its drone thing, right? Because I piddle with it and It doesn't seem like it uh, reacts to the resonance filter or to the um, pitch wheel or anything so much as like it has its own uh, its own little software that it let me pull that again and there's what it looks like it's got its own Reactor library. Should be able to get a view, edit, settings, sample rate. It's 96,000K. It's a 2496, which is hugely high quality. Uh, Super high fidelity audio, 9624. Uh, so they didn't slouch when they did the samples for it. Yes, it does. Uh, it does, but it doesn't. Like you can run Reactor by itself as a standalone that has all the stuff inside of it. Uh, you can also run Reactor as a VST, as a virtual synth that has its own payload packages inside of it so like I could run this by itself and then I could put a version of it inside the uh, machine and run it so it's it's ridiculously configurable the setup right people are like because I'm on reddit and I read some of the stuff and people are like why do you need a doll inside of a doll okay well you know a normal track for me is about 14 to 16, uh, 16 tracks, right? A MIDI and an audio, MIDI audio, which comes like three or four synths from here, a synth from here, drum tracks here, a synth there, you know? Uh, so, but eventually you run out of, of programming power, I guess would be, you know, you tax your process too much, you lose voices, whatever. Well, lo and behold, this thing's got like a quad core uh, two gig processor with like eight gigs of RAM and all that mess in it. And eight get terabyte of storage and all that shit. So this is a doll. So everything that Cakewalk does, maybe not as well as Cakewalk, but you can do it in uh, the MK3, right? But the MK3 has software. So, what I do is I host it inside of Cakewalk as a plugin, but then I can put 16 drum tracks on here, right? And I can put four different synthesizers on there, 
and run different things. So it off takes some of the offload of the processor and puts it into this unit. So you don't just totally kill your uh, your processor in the in the in the middle of it, you know. So that's how that works. Boom, MK3 up in the house. There you go. Whoop. Sync, it's 60 BPM. And then here you go, hey, I'm going to put a Rackus in this. And then and then there is Arrakis running inside of here, running inside of Cakewalk. Right, so I can do up to if I wanted to code one, two, three, four, eight things of sixteen tracks just in this alone not counting what i do here so like the cool drum loops and everything you can do it right in here it's it's truly amazing the technology that can be done and had The text, who it is, is, is it? I'm gonna we'll have to watch it. I've been texting with my boss some funny shit. And there's a rackus. And then, but. Like if I wanted to put another space drone, I could drop it in right here on to this. And so I would have another space drone playing here and a space drone. So it's it's like it's mind boggling. Like, you know, back back in the, the old days, you know, like 124 track studio gangster max. Dude. Right here, brother. Sixteen times eight. That's a shit ton of tracks, man. And then the cool thing on the uh, the machine is, is you can set it for uh, chord mode. So there's that. And so the cool thing is, is you're in chord mode, but uh, Arrakis is a tri-mode instrument to begin with, with three layers. So you got nine layers of chords. It, it kind of blows my mind. Uh, you know, I mean, like truly.
Okay, man. No problem. Cool, brother. I appreciate you hanging out. I need some food, too. S-O-E-M. <laughs> so I'm food, man. That's what I need. Some food. All right. So, while you're, while you're getting food, I'm going to do something here, guys. That I don't quite understand why it's being so kissy. for a few minutes here that I am going to record this. set real quick. Allah, how have you been, brother? Hope all is well with you, sir. I've added some more to the old studio. Y'all moved in now, Papa? Cool, cool, man. Moving sucks, I know, brother. Done it too many times. 
for uh, stuff, the work, for this, for that. <laughs> Man, I moved uh, one time from Texas to Indiana and it took like, I don't know, a couple of days, weeks or so, week and a half or so to get all of my furniture shipped up there and that really sucked. I mean, it was a corporate move, but you know, uh, they paid for it, but I brought like a TV and a futon with me, you know, and a computer. I moved all over the country, man. Texas to Arizona, Texas to Colorado, Colorado to Massachusetts, Massachusetts to Virginia, Virginia to St. Louis, back to Texas. Then I moved, I moved around a lot when I was married. We were all over the country for the ex-wife's uh, company. And uh, yeah, I've been all over, bro. So what are you doing down there, man? I know you I know you got moved for a new job and all that. Yeah, I've been in Texas back since uh, 2009. It's when I left St. Louis. And I try to make a trip up there every couple years. I saw friends up there. My daughter lives up there. So that's kind of cool, too, you know? Yeah, man, it is. It is an adventure. For sure. You moved for work, didn't you? North Carolina's nice. I've been there. Um, the beach is nice. Um, are you in Raleigh, Durham? Like my brother, when I lived in Virginia, I would go down and visit my brother, uh, who was going to Duke University to get his master's degree. So we would go down there and hang out. And uh, Raleigh's real nice. Durham's nice. Uh, went to. I know everybody down there has an OBX sticker, right? Be like everybody else and get an OBX sticker. That way, you know. Uh, Outer Banks, North Carolina, everybody has them. Uh, if I had one, I would actually use it and put it on my car here in Texas. Because that's like a secret over there in Virginia and Carolinas and Maryland. Uh, OBX, baby. So, since you're on the East Coast, you need to go up to Maryland. That's really a nice area. Baltimore's real cool. The, uh, the aquarium there is really nice. Um, Real cool, sh real cool shopping district down there. Neat stuff to see. Uh, Massachusetts, like I lived there. Uh, I didn't like it that much, but we did go into Canada, so you know that was cool. And we went on a little weekend excursion up to uh, Bar Harbor, Maine, or as they say there, Bar Harbor. But um, kind of a cool, you know, trip. Uh, what kind of work are you doing there, buddy? Yeah, man, you know, I, I've been fortunate to, I've been to 44 out of 50 states and Canada there. Four different countries as well. Uh, some of the states here are going to be really hard for them to hit, like Alaska, Hawaii, uh, Washington State, Oregon. I've been to California. Uh, I don't think I've been to Utah. Idaho. But pretty much everything, minus those little four things, Alaska and Hawaii, I've been to. It's a great country to travel in. I've been real, you know, real fortunate in my years. Uh, 
nearly 50 years to be able to travel as much as I did and uh, have fun with it. So, you gotta travel, you gotta spread your wings like that, you know? It's real awesome. I'm really happy for you that you're there and you've always got the, the crew to like, you know, talk to you or, you know, give insight or whatever, which is awesome as well. I'm doing a little uh, sound recording as we talk to the talk back and forth. I'm recording some tracks onto the MK3. This is a new project that I'm working on here called an after image of time, what this is called. So I hope you're enjoying what it's done so far. I gotta get some food here too. It's been a real good stream, you know? 52 minutes here. Uh, man, you gotta get your stuff set up, bro, where we can do a, a collab. I know you've been talking, we've been talking about this, and I think it would be really cool Code 5 Productions or something, you know? <laughs> That'd be pretty badass. Uh, in cooperation with Renegade Centrax. So, you see my shirt, OCP? Oh, dude, that would be a total blast, Code. You with the video, Papa and myself do an audio on something would just be freaking phenomenal. Code 5 Gaming Productions in association with Renegade Centrax and Papa Alla. Well, that, that's a mouthful and a sentence right there. Uh, that'd be cool. We'll have to, we'll have to plan that and put something like that on the books. I would, uh, I would eagerly love to do that, you know. I can do the pads, Papa can do the beats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. I understand that. Um, for sure, Code. For sure. I can't wait to see what you got, man. Got to throw some, throw a sneak preview up on the, uh, uh, Discord for us. It would be a lot of work, but it would be awesome. But what can we do? Like a music video? What? I mean, you know, this is something we've got to think about, roll around in our heads, and try to figure out. Because whatever y'all want to, I am all for it. Oh, cool. Badass, man. I'm doing some recording right now on this, but I'm using this for the MIDI to trigger this. So, go figure. So, got some exciting news, guys. Uh, Gary Newman is coming to Houston. I got about tickets Friday. Uh, he'll be there on Sunday, or uh, the September 25th. So that'll be that's something I'm eagerly looking forward to. To that show, uh, just an awesome, amazing musician. You've heard the song "Cars," uh, and Foo Fighters did a cover uh, down in the park by Gary Newman uh, some five, ten years ago, something like that. They did a cover of that. Fear Factory did a cover of Cars, but Gary Newman was the like the father of New Way. So uh, he's coming to Numbers in Houston, September 25th. Get your ticket and fly down. It'll be a really cool time. We can always dream, right? Yes, we can. How's that all? How is this all sounding over on your side, guys? Pretty good. So that's weird. Cool, man. 
I think I got about four more minutes on this track. It's like a 16 minute, because I let that drone just record, and it's like a 16 minute drone. So. It's going to sound really good when I put those pianos in throughout it, for sure. I haven't seen it up. I let that drone go on for another 13 or 14 minutes. So it is done. So, guys, let me show you this. So this is the machine, right, MK3. And what I just did is I used MIDI data that I had recorded on Cakewalk and used it to record the MIDI data on the, uh, the MK3. So now, take it off and record. So it actually... plays everything here. So that's kind of badass. So the recording that, so it's like, oops, sorry about that. I mean, the flash on my, flash on my screen. So it syncs and matches. Now, Is it my massive X playing?
like that a lot. That's gonna play in there nicely. A uh, good pick on that. Oh, damn it, boy.
Thank you, brother. I think it's coming along nicely. It's got the uh, definite, got the definite Renegade Centrax style. I can certainly say that. More to come, more to come. Uh, if you're on later, I'll hit you up. I've got to go get me some food. It's 6.38 and I am starving. So. Piano's not added in yet, but and that's going to be pretty cool. Just some smatterings of that throughout the song with those arps that it's playing. But uh, yeah, all right, guys and gals, I uh, think I'm out for a little bit. I need to go eat. So y'all have a blessed evening. And I'll be back. Much love to you too, brother. Thank you so much. I'll hit y'all up tonight. Peace.